ब्रह्मचर्य व्रदी दंडी सर्व वेदांत पंडिता श्रीमद् विवेक योगी माम प्रचोदयतु सर्वदा Speaking about India's spirituality, Swamiji feels that it is a great gift which India has given to the world. Spirituality is India's gift to the world. And uh, we will see some more how these gifts are uh, given and taken. We will see that. Before that, when we talk of spirituality, Swamiji introduces two important terms to it, Tyaga and Seva, renunciation and service. These for him are essentially part of the Indian spiritual culture, Tyaga and Seva. You know, it is surprising, this Tyaga and Seva have been the Adhara Shruti, the underlying basic notes of our Indian tradition. And slowly, slowly, the scientific content of those. See, Upanishad says, no? Tena Tektena Bhunjida. So, Tyaga is a value which is coming to us, not now. It has been part of the Indian culture from time immemorial. And how valid it is, how important it is, are borne out by the facts. Now we see modern science when we talk about the sustenance of the planet Earth and all that. They are also using three terms, frugal consumption, frugal consumption, tektena bhunjida, we can probably elaborate it into that, frugal consumption. You don't go on eating or consuming the goods so that you harm the nature. Then in the same way another term is Voluntary simplicity. When you think of Tyaga, it's a sort of voluntary simplicity. Not that somebody is asking you, do you give up this? Not that. When this truth and dharma start pervading into your thought system, there is a very natural phenomenon, very natural transformation taking place within you. And that is leading to voluntary simplicity. Our classical example is our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Voluntary simplicity. Not that anybody asked him to lead such a simple life, but all the extra things which we are accumulating into our life, into our day-to-day -day activities, all that get automatically dropped. Sometimes I feel, you know, when a flower is opening up, it has got its petals, apples, etc. But when the fruit formation takes place, they get naturally dropped out. It is in the same way, when the human mind gets spiritually mature. Spiritually mature means what? You become one in spirit with the whole universe. There is nothing other than yours in this whole universe. Everything in the universe is yours. You don't have to accumulate it into your almaras or into your drawers. They are all there for you to enjoy. Tektena bhunjida. Very, very, such a beautiful things. So this voluntary simplicity, that is also part of our systemic wisdom. This is a wisdom which is really different. The wisdom which tells you day-to-day -day handling things, it is not that. It is a thing which has grown in the culture of India. Not that somebody, somebody has superimposed it on it. So it is called systemic wisdom. 
and out of this systemic wisdom has come a global awareness so global awareness vasudheva kudumbakam so four things we find as part of india's gift we'll see more later so voluntary simplicity frugal consumption systemic wisdom and global awareness so these are the ideals which are imprinted in our indian culture so how many of us have ever thought when we talk of indian culture we talk of itihasas puranas etc but these scientific truths are implanted in it from time immemorial it is not nobody has put it from outside came and said no no this is lacking here you put this also no it is a very very natural growth the spirit in me as it grows and expands and becomes one with the spirit of the universe these are the scientific qualities the qualities which take you to the oneness these are the things which you into which you grow so these four words must become part of our culture once again it is very very important that they become part of our culture once again then only india can give her gift to the world